Hey guys, CatCon97, back playing more Fallout 3. Um, in the last episode, we got our suite and blew up a town. That was, that was a fun time, right guys? And uh, I'm going to go to this store and buy a theme for my house. That way it's not all boring. Uh, yeah, themes. I'm going to get the vault theme. It's my personal favorite. If you are playing this at the same time as me, which would be kind of weird. <laughs> uh, if you're doing that for some reason, then just look through all of them by saving right before you buy one. If you really want to pick one out. I've already seen all of them for both houses, though, so I already know this is the one I want. Uh, I'm just selling everything I'm never going to use. Sell, 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 sell. And I think that's it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, accept. It's been a pleasure doing business. Okay. Now, I think... Hmm. Alright, you guys remember that ghoul that was in the front of the tower, like, when we first got here? I'm gonna go, uh, start a quest that involves him. Start out by talking to this guy. Okay. If you guys really want to read this text, just pause the video. I don't really want to take forever by looking at every single piece of text. I'll stay on it long enough to leave you to pause. Hmm. Oh, wow, I actually got that, 27%. So he's going to give us 700 bottle caps total, and a rifle and some ammo. So, all we got to do is kill some ghouls, and we get $700. I'm going to go ahead and go do this quest. <laughs> this quest is called Ten Penny Tower. You can start it by either following the ghoul back to his place and helping him, we're talking to that guy that I just talked to and helping him. And there's a third option where you uh, get the ghouls to move in by convincing everyone to let them, but it's too much work. So just either kill the humans or kill the ghouls. Pick one. Alright. Let me make sure my quest is marked. Alright, yes. So that direction is the way we're supposed to be going. Let's just begin our quest. Oh yeah, by the way, I put all my unique armor, or armor where there's only like two or three of them in the game, and weapons in a bin in my locker, in my, a locker in my room, and uh, yeah, now I'm just wearing this business wear that Mr. Burke was wearing, and I got a baseball bat. Everything unique is going to be set up in my house, but first I'm going to, like, make sure I have all the Nuka-Cola stuff and the workbench and everything. Just so I don't accidentally put something where there's something else going to be in the way. Here we are in Metro Station full of ghouls. Oh yeah, it's telling us about fast travel. We can just teleport from place to place. This is a feral ghoul. It's like a zombie. It's going to try to eat you. Just kill it. There was a such random items on them too. Money or human flesh or mole rat meat. Alright, so here's the nest where the ghouls lay. <coughs> I truly never noticed this before. There's a rifle and some ammo right there. Okay. Follow these tunnels. I get lost in these metro tunnels every time I go in them, so this is probably going to be the rest of the video, just me wandering around, wondering where the hell to go. There's always mines or something. Oh, God. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my rifle. Alright. <coughs> so 
sorry, I've got a scratchy throat. Okay, so, uh, keep following. This is like a huge trap to these ghouls. I'm just gonna. Come on, come on, hit it! What the heck? Okay, never mind. I thought this was the one where there's like gas and everything bursts into flames whenever you shoot it, but apparently not. There's one, I'm not sure if it's in this metro channel, but it looks a lot like that. It's really funny to do, too. Alright. Where the heck am I? Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. I only got two bullets left. Alright, gotta switch back to bat. Maybe I should have, like, not sold all my ammo. Oh, never mind, here's ammo. Cool. Uh, let's get back my rifle. 18 more bullets. They're behind me. God. Oh, God, there's more. Open, 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 open. Open, close. Okay. That kept me safe for about two seconds or so. Is this it? That wasn't it. <laughs> I just hurt myself a little bit. Oh god, there's so many of these guys. Oh, Jesus. Where am I shooting? Oh, okay. I'm probably gonna die here soon. Oh my god. Oh, I came back to this place. Okay, the rest of this video is just going to be a standoff, me versus the ghouls. Let's do this. Die, die, Jesus Christ, there's like six of them. Seven, there, there came another one out that door right there. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap. Lesson learned. Just stop and kill each one. Don't wait until there's like 50 or so. Come on. Come on. Die. 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 God! Look at all of them! Oh my god. Okay. Now let's try to find our way through this freaking maze. Just a couple of stem packs there, my hot key. Oh, okay, so I could have just entered this door and not done all that. Okay, that's nice. I haven't done this mission in forever, guys, so. Oh, God. Here. That way. Alright, oh, finally, no more ferals. Ugh, Jesus, that was the freaking best ghoul battle I've ever had. Awesome. Okay. I need to see voice clips. Okay. <laughs> Just flat up kill them. I'm, I was tired to kill them. Okay. I'm not gonna kill these guys. There's a better thing to do them out, so I think uh, I'm just going to go find Roy Phillips real quick, and then we'll probably end this off, because getting a little close to our time limit, so pretty sure he's right around this corner. Oh, okay. So, in the last episode, I mean, in this episode, we, uh, yeah, we fought a bunch of ghouls and got over here to this. Roy Phillips guy, he's right around this corner by the way. And in the next episode we'll be continuing with this quest. And yep, yeah, I'll see you guys then.